In the next lecture, uh, when we get back into talking about uh, exponential and logarithmic equations, we're going to get answers that look like this here. Uh, it, it's a, the log base some random number of some random number. And this can be a problem if you're doing a, some kind of practical application and you want your answer to be a decimal. Because most sci every scientific calculator should have a, a log button. It's a log base 10. And a natural log button, uh, a log base E, right, the LN, they may not have a log base a button where you can give it the base that you want it to use. You, you might be limited to 10 and E. So what do you do? I, I mean, how, how can you get this number uh, into, out of your calculator? Well, we have a formula for doing this, right? It, it's called, the, not very creatively, the change of base formula. And this is it. Now, this may not look like anything special, right? But it, it, really, is, it really does the, the trick that we need it to. Right, the left-hand side is just some random logarithm. Right? A and B can be any numbers that you happen to end up from whatever application you're doing. Numbers that may or may not be available on your calculator. The magic of this is that on the right-hand side, you get to pick C. You can put any base in there you want, and this is still true. So pick 10. Right? If, if your calculator only has a common logarithm, log base 10 button, pick 10. You can, and then you can enter the numbers in, and everything is going to come up fine to an individual single number. Right? Okay, so let's look at some examples of how this works. So I've got the formula here, right, just for reference. And what I want to do is I want to calculate the log base 2 of 16. Okay, we already know what that is. Right? 16 is 2 to the 4th. So the log base 2 of 16 is going to be 4. So I picked something I already know for a reason, right? Whenever I have a new formula, I, I like to kind of try it out with things where I know what the answer should be because that way I, it gives me confirmation, right? It, if, if I get the answer I expected, okay, great. I know I'm using the formula correctly. Okay, so here's what the formula says. I can rewrite this in terms of the ratio of two common logarithms. Right, log base 10. So notice that the numbers kind of stay in, in order. That's how I remember the formula. In the, in the logarithm, the A is kind of down on the bottom part of the logarithm, it, lo it looks like, and it's on the bottom part of the fraction. The B is above the A in the logarithm, and it's going to go on the top in the fraction. So I'm going to rewrite this as the log of 16 divided by the log of 2. Now you can go to your calculator. My calculator says these are, and I, and I did quite a few decimals here because I, I want a pretty good level of accuracy to make sure I'm, I'm not having a rounding error problem, right? So I, I have the ratio of these two numbers. And when I ask my calculator f to divide these, I got 4.7 zeros and a 7. Yeah, that's awfully close to 4, right? So I, it, it's not exact, but like I said, I, I rounded off those decimals. Uh, anytime you round decimals, you introduce a little bit of error, so... Okay, didn't come out exact, but nevertheless, uh, I'm comfortable that I'm using the formula correctly. 